Hello everyone, this is Lord of Games, and today I am going to be making another Let's Play. Now in the last episode, nothing much happened, or it looks like nothing much happened, but I got a 28 damage Zilios Blade of Grass, and um, the uh, Sharpening Station, that's what it's called. Increases armor up, okay. Uh, Petration for uh, melee weapons. Okay. And all right, we're gonna place that like right here. We're right now running out of room, so we probably don't need the slime maker. And we have this. Now the extractor, what it does is, do we have um that block? Um, let me check. Um. So far, we don't have any, it looks like. Oh, wait. Yeah, it looks like we don't have it. But it takes like, um... It takes... <gasps> gold bird! Okay, if you find a gold animal, it's really good. Okay, I just got a gold bird. Now what you do is you take a gold animal and you sell it and when you sell it you'll get exactly 10 gold so now we got 10 gold coins or from the last episode we got 14 ooh butterflies we can use that for bait alright let's put these gold coins up before anything bad happens to them all right, um, oh yeah, we got a new grappling hook, and it's a lot better than the original. Um, we haven't found the queen bee, so there's something we should do. But, what I was thinking about is... You know how I made it here, and um, nowhere else there was a beehive? I think there's a beehive over in this area. That's what I think. Oh wait, I forgot to decrease the brightness on here. There we go, now you can see. Alright, let's try and go over there, and uh, hopefully... You know what, I'm not sure if I want to do that, or if I want to make a house for um, a certain NPC. Ah, uh, let's just go over there anyway. Plus, we do got a new sword. So that's cool. And I think this helmet increases my speed or something. Because I feel like I'm going a lot faster. And no, it's not just the boots. Alright. Now... We shall go over here and so far we're about to make it to the jungle. Just need to go through one, another part of the desert. All right. So right now we're in the jungle, again, and that took four minutes to go to the jungle. Alright. Yeah, we just need to go a little bit farther for the mine. Now that's actually kind of cool. I never got... Hmm, a good start like this with the uh, blade of grass. Wow, I just destroyed that zombie with grass. Ooh, we haven't seen this place before. Um, it's really dark, and I am throwing glow sticks everywhere, but that's how it is. It's like dark. So. 
Oh, there's a piranha. Or there's nothing much. Yeah. Alright. So, right now, we're gonna go up here. Oh yeah, there's like beehives in this game. Like little beehives. And, um... Yeah, they drop bees. Lack beetle. That's weird. I never saw a lack beetle before. This place is back that gold ore. Oh, oh yeah, I have seen one of those before. And I completely forgot that, um... There it is! The beehive! Wow! A whole episode wasted, and the beehive was literally right next to that. Now... I'm going to just carefully... Kill these... Man-eaters... And not activate the boss... So, yeah, anything can activate that, so that's the worst part. Alright. So, let's get inside. Now, the only thing about this is in the bottom part of a beehive, there's gonna be a lot of honey. So we're just gonna dig up like this. Oh wow, this is a tiny beehive. And it's in the shape of a heart. Yeah, it's in a perfect shape of a heart. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, um... Now, this is gonna be really tiny. Uh, oh, we should have brought those blocks! But anyway, um, we don't have much for the snowball cannon. So we might as well use our tin bow and arrow. We might make some platforms. Because the platforms could help out. Especially the honey. The honey helps out a lot. Now the queen bee is kind of easy. But when you kill it. There's like a rare chance it could be all worth it. Or in fact it could be worth it. Because the queen bee is a hard boss. Well, not really hard. But... He is kind of, like, tricky. Because he flies around. Like, kind of like the Eye of Cthulhu, but it charges around. Okay, we're at full health. I think we can do this. Wish me luck. Alright. This is probably a bad idea. Because... I only have, like, 16 defense. Oh, there he is. Okay. Now, if we just dodge his attacks, we'll be okay. He only does that three times. Okay. Alright, he's now going to be shooting his stingers around. Okay. 
Now he's shooting bees again. Oh, wait a minute. I could just use my sword. Was that a wooden arrow? Or is that the frost arrows? Alright. Yep, it's the frost arrows. Alright. Uh oh. Always equip your potions. Uh oh. How am I. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, luckily we have all those um, cloud in the bottles. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, what if we go up here? Oh, that's a bad idea. Okay. So far we're doing pretty good damage to it. Okay, there's its stingers. We should really watch out for those. Because they're doing pretty good damage against me. There we go. Oh, if we kill the bees, it can draw parts. That's pretty useful. Alright. Come on. Oh, if only I had ammo for that boomstick. You know what? I'm actually doing pretty good. Huh. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Come on, shoot your bees. There we go. Alright. Oh, I'm really close. I'm really close. You see that, y'all? Really close. Yes, I got it. Queen Bee has been defeated. Nice. Now we have defeated him. Uh, we could use a wooden helmet, or we could just put it in decoration. Bee pants. Wait a minute, they're like the ninja gear. Anyway, uh, B sort. 29 damage? That's really good. Ooh, and it's an automatic weapon. That just swings around. Very fast speed. Okay, summon killer bees after striking your enemies. Small chance to uh, confuse them. Uh, oh, we should have used that iron skin potion. Um, now we got some bee nades, which are grenades that shoot bees. And I am surprised that I just defeated a queen bee in this small area. All right. Now we got a new sword already, and it's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got a lot of rope coils. Uh, yeah, we should have used the iron skin potion. 
because uh, we do need. Oh, we don't need the wooden arrows. Okay, but we do need those. Alright, so let's go home and let's craft something with this uh, B wax. Now, the sword isn't what I was going for, but. I didn't expect it to do 29 melee damage, so that's pretty good for a sword like that. Because when I first got it, it did like around, um, like around a 20 damage. It wasn't that good. Um, so we're going to put those really good swords right there. Now, we don't really need the coils that much. Alright. Now, let's craft something. Alright. So, I'm not sure if we use a crafting table for it. Okay. So, be gear. But here's what I was going to go for. This. The Hornet Staff. It only does 9 damage. But if you craft it, look what happens. I get a pet bee. So that's cool. Now I got a pet bee, and watch. Where's, where's the slime? There it is. Watch. It shoots stingers at them. So that's cool, we got, like, a bee that's shooting stingers. Alright. Let's see what else we can craft from this. Hey, Luke. So, what can we craft with this? Oh, we can craft some bee nades, too. With some grenades, too. And we have some grenades. Uh... I don't know where I put them, but we have grenades. So that's cool. We defeated the queen bee. Now, the only thing we need... Okay. Five honey blocks, stinger. Oh, I have exactly that in a honey bottle. Okay. Uh, looks like they kind of nerfed it, because they removed some recipes. Now it's a lot easier. Uh, wow, that's a lot of butterflies. Uh, we shall be right back. I'm gonna kill the queen bee one last time. Heh, <laughs> you thought I was joking? Let's just make a few more. Alright. So instead of one, we're gonna probably fight like four or something. So yeah, the, we're probably going to fight four, but we probably don't have enough materials for it. So this might take a while. Alright, here comes boss one. Boss has been defeated. Ooh, that's what I've been going for. The B gun. It's a magic weapon, and it shoots bees, and it attacks your enemies, so that's cool. And look what we just got, a queen bee trophy. We got a queen bee trophy, um, so now we can just place it, and that, that thing's useless, you just get to place it down like B stuff. Wow, look at this B gun. 
I just used it and um, the sword and look at this the boss is almost dead already and I barely got in fact I haven't even used my potion yet and I'm still good and he is dead Nice. Ooh. Ooh, you see this? This thing's good. This is a good thing. This is really good. Bye bye, lead bow. Seven range damage? <laughs> Say hello to the hurtful of the bee's knees. 29 range damage. Turns into. Wooden arrows turn it into uh, a lot of bees. Let's just say that. Alright, I'm really close to fighting one, or defeating one. Come on, one more. Come on, bees knees. Thank you, very kindly. And, ooh, we got a, a queen bee mask. So that's cool. Uh, you know what, we might need to use the hive real quick. Just a few seconds. All right. Ooh, what's this? Warning honeycomb. For defense, releases bees after taking damage. I like that. Alright, so now, one last boss. Okay, we're really close to fighting the last one. Oh, what is this? Something else has entered the ring. Okay. Come on. We're a few hits away. There we go. Did I get what I was looking for? Aw. Oh, no. Dang. Well. At least I got three B guns. One, two, and three. Okay, um. So. That is all for today. If you enjoyed that I just fought five queen bees. Uh, leave a like and a comment. I'm going to be bringing this home. Uh, on. Wow, I got 91 um, of the bee wax and 41 gold coins. So yeah, I shall see you next time. Bye bye.